What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another five minute workout. So for this one, we are doing it from the ground. As you can see, it is going to be a five minute core workout. So again, five exercises, one minute each. We're gonna go through each one, rest as you need, keep good form. Remember to brace that core. And I'm gonna start the timer and we're gonna get this kicking. All right, so first exercise is called the C sit. So from this position here, you're just going to sit up and you're going to hold. So this is level one. If you need to make it a little bit more advanced, you can always elevate the legs. And then you can also bring them behind the head. Whatever you're comfortable with. So most beginners, they're going to start right here. So it's almost the same as like a crunch position and you're just going to hold that uh, for the minute or as long as you can take little breaks come back down kind of stretch it out a bit come back into it and just keep that core nice and contracted and hold pretty simple make sure to breathe through it don't be holding your breath you want to breathe through this this exercise All right, so exercise number two, we're gonna be on our backs as well. So for this one, you're going to, it's called the dead bug. So you're up like this, you're, whatever leg you choose to start with, you're gonna do the opposite arm and you're going to drop them down, up. Oops. So alternating, breathe through it. Don't hold your breath. Keep that core nice and braced. And you're just going to rep it out. As you can see, not the most flexible. So I got a little bend in my legs. Next exercise, we're going to be on the back again, but you're going to have your feet near your bum, hands at your sides and you're going to be doing a glute bridge. So just press up, brace that core, come back down to kiss the, kiss the floor, engage that core, and back up. Great exercise for the core. Just make sure that you're bracing, breathing through. You have a little hold. And just breathe through it contracting nice and easy you can even put your hands on your on your core just to ensure that you're engaging all right so next one we're going to be doing mountain climbers. So we're in that push up position. So wrist in line with the shoulders. I like to do cross body. So my right knee is going to my left elbow. We're just crossing. If you're not able to do that, you can just bring them in towards the chest. Nice planked position. You don't want your butt too elevated because then you're going to be taking it away from the core. So a nice plank position and wrap it out. Again, with this one, you can go faster. However, control is more important than speed. So contracting, focusing on that core. And the last exercise, we're going to be doing just a basic plank. So on our forearms, again, you want those elbows in line with the shoulder. There's a couple of variations I do with this one. So this would be more just your traditional plank. OK, 
okay? If this is too hard, you can come onto the knees. Or what I like to do to really engage the, uh, the core is I actually like to round my back, drop my hips in a little bit, and really contract that core. So I'm squeezing, breathing through it. So you can see I'm much more arched as opposed to just your typical plank. But this way, I feel it much more engaged and a lot less um, emphasis on my hips. So that is it for the five minute core workout. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and until next time, peace.